All right, let's roll back into it. We're going to get into the third uh, running back on our rookie rankings here. Um, got a little bit of a difference in opinion here. I got somebody different than Jay Wayne. Um, but before we do that, you can hit us up on Twitter at the FF Dynasty. We all have individual tags. You can hit me up at IMC Myers. You can hit Jay Wayne up at Jay Wayne's World. You can hit Big Co up at Dynasty Big Co. <laughs> Had to take a second there. It's been a little while. Yeah. Um, it's been a while. But let's get back into it since I said I'm sorry. <laughs> since I got to F things up again. Whatever. Anyway, stained. Like All right, so I, I think. Always do. <laughs> Is that puddle of mud? No, it's stained. Stain? Similar. Whatever. Puddle of no- nickel tantric back saliva stain. <laughs> all right. Hey, so I, I learned think, how to shoot pool with all that music. That, I think that music gets me pumped on a pool table. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's Anybody out there, Big Co will play you for whatever you want in pool. Yeah, but he's going to fake it the first game you play, and <laughs> then he's about to ball out the Double second down. Game. I mean, what what else are you doing if you really don't have confidence in yourself? If you have confidence in yourself, why would you not be? Got to be sandbagging. That's it. <laughs> that's it. All right. So I think the Number next three. the next two guys, regardless of which order you have them in, are probably going to be Georgia backs as far as this room's concerned. Um, For sure. So I'll let I'll let Jay Wayne go because I think his guy is probably a little bit more consensus at three than than my guy. Who who you got? Oh man, I'm about to take these Sony Michelle plums to farmers market. <laughs> <laughs> well, the the difference is 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 competitive in the room and. Hey. That plum looks good. You can I trade it for your Twinkie? No, these are my plums. <laughs> these are my Sony Michelle plums. Which, which is fine. Listen, if wh- wh- whoever you, if I have one three or one four, I'm not upset about either guy th- that I have to take here. Really, part of me would like to have one four so I don't have to make the decision. But the other part of me, I would just want one three so I can go ahead and grab Sony. But, but I mean, I'll, let me. So let me go but in my. Why? Di- defense of uh sony here i mean like the dude's just so silky smooth he is like the way he moves is flawless he's he has basically this, a beyonce song he woke up like this he's got this like drag step that i think he is woke just up like so this. good but then there's also an element of power to his game if he needs Absolutely. to lower the shoulder he will he's amazing in space he does an awesome job of like showing you acceleration in one direction just to break you down and cut back in the other direction He's got great field of well, uh, wellness, awareness. awareness. He's got fleet, great field of wellness to go with great body control. He shows patience behind the line of scrimmage to let his blocks set up. He's good at using his blocks in the open field, but he knows when he's about to get tackled, and he'll lower his shoulder just to squeeze a few more yards out. He is 215 pounds. Which is probably my favorite part about him, and when you watch the tape, <clears throat> I feel like that really jumps on the page at you. Like yeah. It's not something that you really – pegged him for right but when you watch it like there's you could almost make a case that like he runs a little bit more of like the dive kind of game and the and like the delayed the delayed draw and all that kind of stuff than than chubb actually does in 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 what they do and a lot of the times you see michelle kind of going up the middle and using that patience like you saw to kind of pick and choose which which hole he wants to drive through and he finishes runs extremely well yeah i love it um and i'm i'm gonna say this about ronald jones a little bit later but if the defense makes any kind of mistake this guy is gone you are going to pay for your sins it's sunday but even jesus can't save you from sony michelle capitalizing on any type of mistake you're about to make and i just i love that ability in a dude when you have this game breaking skill to go along with so many other elements to your game um i mean he's got a 50 he's basically got a 50 50 shot of converting third and 20 I mean, just right. like ask Alabama. Right. That that run is absurd. When you're just like basically just trying to get a few yards to make your punt easier and you hand a delayed draw off to your running back and he picks up the first down on third and extra long. He's just a special kind of guy. I think he's very solid in the receiving game. He had 64 catches in his career. Only nine last year, but he had 22 and 26 respectively the years before that. Um, I do like him in pra- pass protection. Is he perfect? No. But he looked very good at times. Um, well, he looked- he's he's comfortable in the third down role for yeah. sure. That's kind of what his mo has been. That's kind of what he's done at Georgia. If Chubb's healthy, um, so abs- he, he he fits right into that. And I think he can do 
the first he can handle the one and two down roll if if need be. Well, there were no targets to go around for the running backs in that Georgia offense this year. But starting no. quarterback, yeah. starting quarterback got hurt week one. The, the freshman comes in, Jake from, from Steve he comes Farm. in, and he, and he just crushes it all year long for a freshman. You know, carrying that, helping that. The, there wasn't a whole lot of checkdowns to the running backs to go around. Regardless, DeAndre Swift had had seventeen receptions, and I think that led the team in running back catches. Yeah. Which which very well could be the quote unquote as as it goes, you know the best Georgia running back. It that's, always that's, it's the always the next always guy the best, every yeah. time. But but I heard Tim Tebow say it, so it must be real. Mm. He knows Jesus so <laughs> personally. Um, back to that pass protection, like in the in the championship game, Bama was throwing all kinds of various stunts and blitzes at him, and he was pretty much holding his own. So like I, I do yeah, think he can succeed. A, a large argument for him in that Georgia game or in that Alabama game why they didn't give it to him more because Chubb was rendered useless at least yeah to poor outside. guy yeah um he just he looks bigger and faster than everyone else on the field and it's just so evident to see, to see he's he's a good like his good is great like when he's at his best it's phenomenal and it's game breaking um, and then I love I love who he is off the field. He's a super smart kid. He hates distractions. He keeps his head down and puts in work. When he was in high school, I think both like both of his parents lost their jobs or something, and so he got them a job at the high school that he was playing football for. His mom was in the cafeteria, and his dad was working in maintenance. And he talked about having to see his parents working really hard, like back in the hot kitchen and picking up trash and stuff. And he's he's in school. There's no way he's going to be acting up or doing anything wrong. Like he's he's in this for his family. He sees football as an out. The wherewithal from a kid to to put his parents in that in that situation is sure phenomenal. Yeah. Like that, what were you thinking about when you were in? Not that. Right. right. Not know? having to get my parents a job. That's for sure. And so you know, he, he finished with like a 3.8 GPA in, in high school. And then he, he carries this on. He, he, he thinks of football as his way to improve everyone's life around him. And he is working for that. And he is working nonstop at that. And when you put, when you put like, he's similar to Geist. Like when you, when, when these guys have to earn everything they've ever gotten and like their families are their motivation and you combine that with talent, like it's just scary where it could go. Absolutely. And so I'm, I'm all in on Sony Michelle. You know we love a good story around here. That oh, we, we love it. We practice and preach it. We like to know what a guy is kind of like. And you know, I try not to discredit you if you know maybe you're a little bit of a jerk or or yeah. any sort of thing like that. Like sure. I, I try to not get into the we'll politics the of whatever Joe Mixon. A bump. We'll right. use the good character as a bump up. Exactly. And and I think I think that should be the way it is because yeah. I mean if 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 you've had these trials and tribulations throughout your life and you've come out. On, on the good end of things, yeah. uh, uh, that speaks highly to your character, in my opinion. Right, and it gives me confidence drafting you and, and, and taking you as, as a fantasy football player because I know you're going to continue to work better. There's so many you're guys... You're going to take this very seriously. Right. There's so many guys that just let rest on their laurels and they don't put in that time and, and work effort. And like, So I want to know if that's what you're about or not. And then I can at least temper expectations if you're, if it, if I don't get a good feel about that. Like you said, I'm trying not to overreact to the negative stuff, but like the positive stuff just gives me so much more confidence and like just a good feeling going forward. Right. Cause talent is 99% of the time going to trump character. Sure. Regardless of who you're talking about at what position, but when you put the two together, exactly. It could be, you could be the best magic happens. of all. Exactly. Well, we love Sony Michelle. Let's let let's let this healthy difference of opinion. Let's let Casey make his case for Chubb at three, and then I'll come in with my uh, my two cents. 